Hello YouTube, this is Aman and in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to set up soft Twitter VPN server and client. So in this video tutorial uh, I'm using Amazon AWS to host our VPN server and uh, in my previous tutorials you guys already know about uh, PPTP VPN server. Thought uh, it actually comes with a server side but uh, soft Twitter is uh, must, uh, comes with many features like bandwidth capping and uh, some other rules is uh, suitable with you so let's that's actually not comes with a uh, built-in windows server so let's start uh, so we're gonna download the soft Twitter vpn so server uh, we're gonna select vpn server and the platform windows and cpu architecture x64 and 32 uh, i'm not gonna use beta version i'm gonna use uh, uh, stable, uh, stable version. I think this one is the stable. I think so. Uh, you guys uh, ma might use this one for if you use Windows Server 2016. This case, I'm gonna use I'm using uh, Windows Server 2012 in here, so it's almost getting downloaded. Okay, let's open. Okay, so I'm gonna start installing the Windows, uh, sorry, uh, Soft Twitter VPN server. I say uh, three options in here. We're gonna use uh, Soft Twitter VPN server, and I agree. Just in, uh, ignoring the agreement. Uh, advanced install for all. Enter computer because this is the server. Uh, make sure you install this one. Okay, so start the soft Twitter VPN server manager. <coughs> Sorry. So here it says local host. So I have only one interf uh, two interface, but uh, one interface has public IP address, uh, whereas the other interface has still no IP address assigned. So I'm gonna using only one uh, here. So it's local host. Let's connect local host. It's asking for password uh, for this uh, server manager. So I'm gonna set a password for this. Password set, and uh, server comes up. So this is the actual setup page. So what I'm gonna set up is remote access VPN server. You can see the uh, diagram in here, which is uh, the VPN server and connecting with VPN clients. You could have sites on this server, so it's actually you can access by site, by VPN, or you can directly access, it's up to you. So I'm gonna using remote access VPN server in here. So press next, uh, no, uh, current setting VPN bridge will initialize, yes, VPN bridge is needed because, uh, let's give the name of VP, uh, VPN hub is VPN, Let's give the name SC VPN, the bridge name, and you can see the public IP address of my server, and you can see the dynamic DNS host name. So I can change the dynamic DNS host name. Just I'm um, just copying the this stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna you can change like uh, the your any of your uh, host name like let's let's give the name is uh, oh here sorry uh, server 6 x let's see if this available or not okay it seems server 6 x is available so I'm gonna I can use this IP address to connect server or I can use the dynamic DNS to connect server so Let's, uh, you can uh, you have a DNS key so you can change control the key of uh, the dynamic DNS so let's exit this uh, option right now so here is asking for if you like to set up IPsec VPN settings so I'm gonna use IPsec actually I don't use IPsec instead I'm gonna use open VPN so let's configure IPsec in case if, if I use Android or 
any device to connect with IPsec like Cisco router or anything. So enable IPsec. This is an IPsec options, and you can use this option for IPsec tunneling. So I'm not gonna configure this one right now. Just uh, enable it. And the pre-shared key, so you can use pre-shared key uh, minimum nine digit or anything. So I'm gonna just keep this default. I'm gonna change it later because it's actually video tutorial, not gonna set this public. So, okay. So uh, it's asking for Azure. So Azure have something, uh, Azure infrastructure actually different with as, uh, LAVS. So I'm gonna not gonna enable this one. So may I, I'm gonna disable this one and okay. So I have to create a user. So I'm gonna use a user demo, full name, test user, anything you can use. Uh, password, I'm, you can use certificate. So I'm not gonna actually uh, enlarge the video. So I'm gonna use a small uh, a password option from here. That's reliable for me, but I'm strong. Uh, I'm rec I'll recommend to use certificate options because it's highest, in, uh, highest level of encryption or security system. So certificate uh, demo password. Let's give it password in here. So password is said you can use security set policy, but I'm not gonna use policy. Has much policy uh, vendor allocation, IP address assign. So I'm gonna disable this one. Uh, okay, set username demo has created and exit because I have already as any else. Now you can use set local bridge. So you can go, you have to go first uh, the interface, network sharing options. You can see the network two I have only. So I'm gonna, it has, it has a public IP address or uh, the internet access. So I'm gonna bridge this one. Uh, so select Ethernet and close. Server has bridged and is the saying the whole diagram. And you can see uh, session one is not actually connected. You can see that uh, the ports are four four three nine nine two one one nine four four five 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 five. Uh, I suggest to use at least one only, not actually use all of the protocols, all the ports. You could have stick with one, but uh, to stay, uh, to use all of them, make sure you have opened the ports from your Amazon security groups. So I haven't uh, opened all of them uh, from Amazon security groups. So now I'm gonna configure uh, rest ports from uh, Amazon security group. So here's the, I'm gonna copy this uh, DDNS and uh, put this DD. Okay, uh, we're gonna uh, uh, set up this post on security first, then we're gonna set a connect our client side. So let's go. Here's the security group options. So create security group. Uh, Soft Ether VPN. I think it's spelling is okay. Soft ETR. Okay. Default VPC. Add rules. Inbound rules. This must be inbound rule. Uh, HTTPS. Uh, I have HTTPS already assigned with another security group. So you can use HTTPS, which is 443. Another is TCP uh, 992. Uh, it must be anywhere as I'm gonna use this, uh, you can use your IP, but I'm gonna use it from anywhere. Another is uh, 1194, which is open VPN port, anywhere. Another is um, 555, anywhere. And just save it. And make sure you're gonna attach this uh, security group Add the security group with uh, server. So I'm gonna add the security group with server. Attach, change security group, and soft Twitter. Assign. 
that's it so let's back to the, our server so here is our server now now let's check uh, we will check uh, the port is open or not uh, it must be port open but to clear and clarify the uh, the ensure the proper possibility that's why I'm gonna check the port because not all all guy will use uh, Amazon so that's why actually I'm gonna showing up the ports 443 Forty open nine nine two open one one nine four sorry one one nine four open five 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 open okay everything is open so let's go to our client side so we're gonna configure our uh, client server to connect internet so here is our soft Twitter VPN client uh, I sorry I forgot to uh, set up the video because it's nothing about uh, nothing to show set up just install the download the software client manager and install it it's nothing else so it must ask for a virtual uh, adapter just creating virtual adapter I already created one so let's start it to add VPN manager connection add VPN connection double click on it uh, let's click on my server and host name that host name I used on uh, my uh, server so host name is uh, server six dot and you can what what protocol you're gonna use so I'm gonna use uh, where, is, where is the okay now 443 is here but I'm gonna use okay 443 is good the virtual hub that I created uh, here and uh, the password the password is uh, that I used so username was demo and the password uh, username demo password that I used and enter so we can go for connect uh, one thing I can show you my IP address my current type address you, if you change see my current type address you can see uh, uh, starting with my country and uh, here is that but uh, we it will change if we connect the VPN so let's connect the VPN client now so connect it's connecting connected it asking for requesting an IP address of DHCP server in VPN so it will connect the VPN server you can see it's already connected but it won't change the IP address so we have to set up NAT option in our server uh, let's I uh, finish this process now if you go to the IP change you can see that IP didn't that uh, didn't change IP didn't change so that's why oh, we have to go for another uh, set up in B uh, server side. So go to the server side, uh, click on the virtual hub, and oh wait, uh, we have to disconnect first. Disconnect and go to the server. And the uh, server, you can see uh, virtual net and virtual DHCP server secure net. So you have to enable secure net and press OK. And secure net configuration, you can set up the IP address of our secure net. So I'm gonna use here 3255224. Not gonna use um, too much uh, pool. So you can uh, you can keep this. Just I'm gonna change this for my side. Uh, submit mask 224. Distributed IP 102. 130 and DNS server default gateway the DNS server I'm gonna use is Google 8.8.8.8 the secondary server should be Google alternative DNS server domain name should be empty 
and press OK. It might be done, I think. TTLS 31 hour 3600. Uh, I think it's OK now. You can, I, as I said, you can ignore it because I'm, I changed it for my uh, my customization. So exit, and we can minimize the server now. Oh wait, wait! Uh, I can show one more thing in here. You can use OpenVPN stuff. Just download the OpenVPN, and you can uh, use it OpenVPN stuff. So I'm just uh, another thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you another encryption of the network. So I'm gonna change the encryption type is to. Uh, AES 256 uh, authentication. So this is actually I like most. And change. Okay, refresh. So we are good to go now. Now we're gonna connect the server. Connecting server, Bayfang server certificate authenticate user. And here is the IP address assigned message. Uh, just ignore it. Uh, I got the IP address. So now we're gonna go to the uh, IP change. You can see now that uh, IP address change and is the Amazon IP address comes up. So this is about the tutorial about uh, set up uh, soft Ether VPN client and server. So thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you like, if you like this video, hit like, comment, subscribe. So anything you want. So thanks for watching this video.